So hello everyone, my name is Sumit Sagar and I am one of the project mentor for the project Active Source Engineering Using MATLAB along with Suno PS, Manoj Ji and Manoj S. And Pooja Chauhan is the project junior for this project. So as the title suggests, we are basically modeling Active Source Engineering Using MATLAB software. Now coming to the introduction. So vehicle suspension systems are typically rated by their ability to provide good road handling and better ride comfort. So the current automobile suspension systems that usually most of the them usually passive components by utilizing spring and damping coefficients that have fixed rates. So this system for, for offer a compromise between the com, uh, all the conflicting criteria between uh, comfort and all those things. So the active or adaptive suspension is an automotive technology that controls the uh, vertical movement of the wheels with an onward system rather than the movement being determined by the road surface. So in this project, uh, the mathematical model for both the passive and the active suspension systems are modeled using MATLAB Simulink and the control part is done by using the PID and the synthesis control system. And the comparison of body travel is analyzed for different control parameters that we'll see in the next slides. So we have listed down some of the objectives for this project. So the, uh, these are the total five objectives we have decided. So the first one is to obtain a mathematical model for the both the passive and the active suspension systems. Second is the, to construct an active suspension model for a car subjected to excitation from a road profile using PID, that is proportional integral derivative and H infinity control system. Third one is to optimize varying stiffness in the active suspension system. Fourth one is to analyze the working of the model using Simulink. And the last one is to obtain a compact suspension system. So the system modeling is the very important step in the design of suspension system. So generally we have the vehicle dynamic modeling, uh, 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 like there's some degree of approximations we basically do. So according to the requirement of the controller design, there are basically three mod dynamic models. That is first one is the two degree of freedom quarter car model, four DO of quarter car model, and seven DO of full vehicle model that are often used for the theoretical analysis and design of suspension system. But for this project, we have limited our analysis for the two degree of freedom quarter car model, which can be further extended for other models also. So the mathematical model of the 2D of quarter car model for passive and active suspensions is being carried out using basic law of mechanics. So, so now Shona will take over the next part. Okay, I'm into the quarter car model for the passive suspension system. We consider the spring and the damper system where MS is a strong mass and MS is an unstrong mass. Where MS is a strong mass takes account of the mass of the body of the car and M unstrong mass take account of the tire mass, etc. And TUS is a tire stiffness and CUS is a damper, uh, damper damping coefficient in the tire. And uh, in the right side, it's a mathematical model for the system which is built in Simulink for the for the quarter car model for the passive suspension system. Next slide, please. And now taking the uh, parameters of unstrung mass is about 600 kg and unstrung mass is equal to 90 kg and spring coefficient is equal to 36,000 newton meter and suspension damping coefficient is equal to 2,000 newton second per meter and tire stiffness around 20, 20 lakhs, uh, like, sorry, 2 lakh 4,034.4 newton meter and suspension stiffness is equal to 2,500 newton second per meter. When the car passes to the sudden step, the blue line indicates the the deflection of the sprung mass and and the red line indicates the travel of the unsprung mass which is basically tire please next slide please and now our objective is to design the control system to make it to convert the passive car quarter model to the active active kind of suspension thing so we are ad adding a controller system which can minimize the travel of the sprung mass so the U is a control system added between the unsprung and the sprung mass. The left side Simulink model is represent the mathematics model of the active suspension for the quarter car model. Next slide, please. Now, if we take a parameter U as a zero, the active suspension will act as a passive, passive suspension, passive passive suspension system so when the car passes to the step it will result the deflection of the sprung mass will be same as the passive car model now to get a better design we are first we are using the pid controller to decrease the travel of the sprung mass so pid controller stands for proportional integral and derivative control control 
where first we will guess the initial value of the proportionality constant then we will increase it by step by step and finally using the matlab code we are getting optimal value of our kp ki and kd and the left side model represents the mathematical model with the pid controller next slide please and this is the control block for the pid controller where the different parameters are listed over here like proportionality constant is equal to 10 and derivative constant is 10000 and integral constant is 0 next slide please and now the comparison of pid controller controlled active suspension system and the passive suspension system the blue blue line represents the deflection of a sprung mass in a passive suspension system and yellow line represents the suplex, uh, suspension uh, the deflection of the unsprung mass in the pid controlled active suspension system where the deflection is reduced here and the accelerate, the second diagram shows the accelerate acceleration in the two systems which is similar so we are going to the another kind of suspension system, another type of control system next slide please now the governing equation as follows this are the governing equation for the water car model with control system next slide now for that governing equations we are making a state space model and then we are using a h infinity control system to get a better results the q the major keywords used here are one is the tire of frequency and the rattle space frequency tire of tire of frequency is the transfer function from the actuator to body travel and the acceleration has an imaginary zero axis with the natural frequency where the rattle space frequency is a transfer function from the actuator to the suspension deflection has an imaginary axis zero with the natural frequency next slide Uh, this part will puja will explain this over to you puja overcome the limitations of passive suspension an active suspension is used unlike passive suspension system in active suspension system force actuator is able to both add and dissipate energy from the system so this helps to control vehicle dynamics by helping to reduce effects of braking and by increasing ride comfort and vehicle load handling So, in active suspension, an actuator is used between sprung mass and unsprung mass. Actuator controls suspension over full bandwidth of the system. It is used by fine controlling of actuating force. By specifying choosed loop targets for gain from the road disturbance to suspension deflection, so so that we get the following graph by the board plot. And the blue line represents the open loop, and the red line represents the closed loop. Target. In the in the in the graph shown before, we consider the ideal actuator results. Due to interactions between actuator and system, slightly damped zeros are produced, which contrasts closed loop performance for low frequency range. So H infinity synthesis. So in the H infinity synthesis, the, the designers are expressed problem in mathematical form and finds a controller which solves the optimization. So we use H infinity function which calculates and finds an H infinity controller which stabilizes the system and has same number of states. The function tunes parameters by minimizing closed loop gain from the system to system input to system output. So Manoj will. explain the next part yeah so now we move on to a more advanced and efficient way than h infinity synthesis that is new synthesis now to handle maximum level of uncertainty in the model we use robust control methods in this methodology we consider maximum band of uncertainty and design control system according to it new since new sin function is used to design a robust controller for uncertain models it uses dk iteration algorithm in dk iteration algorithm the function uses h infinity synthesis to find a controller that minimizes the closed loop gain and it performs a robust analysis of the to estimate the robust h infinity performance and it finds a new controller that minimizes h infinity scaling so it keeps repeating till the saturation at is attained the and the maximum level of efficiency is reached so now we move on to the final results
in the in the graph one we have considered random road profile and we can clearly see that the body travel in the new synthesis is very less and efficient than h infinity synthesis here yeah, our initial goal was to reduce body travel keep the suspension deflation in alignment with that of road disturbance and to reduce the settling time so in the graphs shown in the next slides we can clearly see that the significant amount of improvement in every parameter in robust analysis considered to that of h infinity synthesis in the first graph you are considered a random road disturbance and in second the uh, second graph you are considered sinusoidal road disturbance and we can see the results clearly in favor of new synthesis over h infinity next slide please next slide yeah um, so in second uh, in this our goal is to keep suspension deflection in uh, alignment with that of road disturbance for better comfort we can clearly see that new synthesis output follows the input input road disturbance more acute, accurately than h infinity synthesis output so even the second graph with random road disturbance gives the same outputs next slide so observations comparison of highest values of displacement velocity and settling times for both active and passive systems and the performance evolution here we can observe the clear significant improvement in the total performance of the vehicle in active suspension compared to that of passive suspension it has been observed that the performance is improved in the form of vertical displacement and settling time by 89% and 92% respectively which will increase the passenger comfort and stability of the vehicle so it is apparent that the displacement velocity displacement and velocity signal amplitude of active control were reduced by 9 times and 2.5 times for the passive signal respectively in the same operating operating conditions we can see that displacement is improved by 89% velocity is improved by 58% and the settling settling time is improved by 92% next slide so i will be taking the conclusion part so the methodology was to was created to design an active suspension for a passenger car by designing a controller which in turn increases the system's performance in comparison to a passive suspension system in terms of design objectives so the both the passive and the active suspension systems were being modeled using considering two degree of freedom quarter power model with only bounce motion being to be taken into consideration and to evaluate we have also evaluated the suspension performance in relation to several conflicting design goals for the active suspension system uh, a pid controller design approach for examined in a passive suspension the value of suspension travel in active cases is reduced to less than half or almost null it is possible to achieve a better compromise than only passive suspension by only by using passive elements by introducing an active element in the suspension the use of pid control design is to increase ride comfort and road handling is examined the virtual development of the quarter car can provide insight into the actual state when a car encounters a road bump allowing for more comprehensible assessment or verification of the system this will make it easier for, for the user to imagine and relate to the actual plan that is being modeled as well as a rapid aid prototyping so the objectives what we have uh, taken have been achieved and the design and development of a dynamic model for a linear quarter car suspension system has been accomplished so what are the future scope for this project so as we have discussed and seen in the previous slides that active suspension systems offer a lot of facility in terms of improving ride and handling but their practical uh, application had been uh, hindered by some of the causes that are the greater power requirements so large scale implementation is only possible if the power requirements can be significantly reduced so due to the easy availability of different components and simple structure hydraulic actuators have been used and uh, as uh, inactive suspension thus far so but on the other hand electromagnetic actuators have recently emerged as a potential superior alternative with reduced power consumption and high bandwidth capabilities in contrast to designing a system that is robust to vehicle parameter uh, variations active suspension that adapt to road profile have been capable of delivering more significant improvements in ride and handling performance automobile manufacturers are currently looking for a uh, this control preview control for this objective uh, control system that is basically applicable for this form of suspension adaptation is the multiple model adaptive and control approach so these are the some of the references we have taken for this there actually there are many but we have listed on some of the few so that's it and uh, yeah that's it and we have any questions so this is our, our project thank you for kindly